I wake, I jar from opiate sleep, my senses numb seem buried deep. What is this place, confined so small, that I can barely move at all? I cannot hear a single sound. What are these ties that keep me bound? Why am I here? What nightmare this? Confusion clouds my frantic mind. I reach through darkness, yet am blind to see the world beyond. I cry out, yet my voice is stifled, choked by dust and cloying must. Can anybody hear me? Amidst the formless fog of thoughts in which I swim, I see a woman weeping tears. I feel her hold my hand and gently stroke, and then let go. Her quivering voice is slow and fades away like bitter smoke. A man in white, his fingers cold upon my eyes, and darkness dwells. And then I hear the sound of bells, and then the words, He will be missed. Above my head, the fall of turf. I am entombed beneath the earth. My God, I scratch, I scrape, I claw, until my arms have strength no more. I fight, I flail, I wail, in vain. The walls around me, closing in, keep out redemption with my sin. Each moment now seems like an hour, and Azrael snares me in his power, holding close within my sight the gateway to eternal night. Toward that place my soul is torn, and I look back, Afraid, forlorn, at what I leave behind. A landscape full of shattered dreams, Of hopes and truths unsaid, Of tiny cries I ne'er shall still Beside a moonlit bed. And when the ochre sunset casts Cold shadows o'er my grave, What thoughts, then, of that absent stranger Fortune could not save? Fading out to slow decay, Like the embers of the day, I breathe out life's last vain ray from my exhausted corpse, and all is past, and darkness hath dominion at last.